if you're like me, this wasn't even on your radar. A new two-part French adaptation of a beloved classic who doesn't like Three Musketeer stories. <laughs> To be fair, I have not read the book, so back off me with the you haven't even read the book comments. I'm not super familiar with the source material beyond what's been made from it. So I was pleasantly surprised at the realism on display here for better or worse. I love how cinematic the look is. It's not particularly colorful, but it feels appropriate to the tone, the time period, and it's honestly pretty gorgeously shot. The acting is phenomenal, subtle, and it's unexpectedly funny a lot of the time. And there's from what I understand some additions to the subtext of the book that made me roll my eyes, but whatever. The focus on D'Artagnan is welcome and he makes for a compelling protagonist with aspirations that become realized quite quickly but believable. He's likable, capable, and respectable. The same cannot be said of all the Musketeers. Their portrayals are still mostly heroic. There's far more nuance and damning qualities than what I am used to seeing, which is probably accurate to the source material. It's, it's okay for the most part, but I could have done without the sex and the nudity. Although it's not overblown, it's still there. And it's, But I'm not down with the nuance, but ultimately romanticized look at adultery. However, while I enjoyed it, the film gets really lost and sidetracked. The Musketeers often feel like an afterthought and don't get really the focus that I hoped. Athos gets some depth and a way too long out of nowhere ambiguous flashback that feels really out of place. I guess it was implied to be him and you'll see what I mean if you watch I'm not sure. I kept saying to myself I want more musketeers and the film wouldn't always deliver which was super disappointing. The swordplay and action are really good. They're staged with impressive long takes. Some string together sure but it gives a believable and still flashy sense of choreography and I just wanted to see more of it. There's a lot of talking which is fine. There's a lot of plot. There's a lot of things to build up story-wise but I kept thinking like I could go for more spot swashbuckling sword choreography stuff because when it's doing that it's at its best and this is part one so it ends in a satisfying place but then they do a cliffhanger which made me want to see more but frustrating that it doesn't just end I guess they got to hook you for the next one which I am looking forward to it is ambitious but a little too all over the place and distracted by the setting it should have been more honed in on the actual musketeers themselves had it been a mini series which there I go again with that comment I would have been down with the expansion and maybe more focus on other things from the book. And those of you that read the book, let me know how it's like in the comments and if it's this widespread of a scope with this many characters in the book. It builds tension quite well. And it's, it's fun and it has visceral action with constantly self-serious execution that really immerses me in the time period. I just wish there was more of the actual title character and not so much shoehorned in politics of the time. And it could have been great. But... Maybe part two will do more of that, so bring it on. I give The Three Musketeers Part 1 D'Artagnan 3.5 out of 5 stars. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, always look for the good.